That was Outside My Door by Krautrock Pioneers, Can, off their 1969 debut album, Monster Movie. Uh, they're just like a really cool like German Krautrock group. Um, I was wondering that. The, uh, the image on the cover looks a lot like Galactus from uh, the Marvel Comics, um, Jack Kirby's Gal- Galactus. And uh, it turns out it's actually a retrace of Galactus um off of a specific thor cover 134 page three. Oh, it's not the cover it's 134 page three released in 1966 i was wondering when i was looking at it like did galactus come out before this pretty sure he did um but yeah that's can super great album um there's only like four songs on it and the last song is like 20 minutes long um that's a pretty good song actually um but we're listening to that today because we have uh a Beatles song from 1969 coming up and 1969 is probably one of the best years for music. So uh, I just like listening to music from 1969. Any chance I get, you know, who does not Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching battle of the band. We're on day 86 of the Beatles tournament. And if you're not familiar with what we're doing here, basically what we did was we took every single Beatles track, threw them into a single elimination style tournament, and then we make them face off in head-to-head battles until we figure out which Beatles song is the best in the end. Today we have a song from Abbey Road going up against a song from Help. We have uh, She Came In Through the Bathroom Window coming up first, and this is the, uh, it's a portion of that side two of Abbey Road that has that 16 minute medley on it. Um, this one is after Polythene Pam and before Golden Slumbers. So far, the songs individually haven't been doing great in the tournament against, uh, their competition. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see, because this one is kind of, I mean, it's long enough to be a whole song. We'll have to see, because, like, part of it has been, like, like, they seem like little portions of a song, or they're just not long enough. This one's almost two minutes long, so it might, it might do. And that's going up against You Like Me Too Much off of uh, the soundtrack to Help <coughs> from 1965. And this one's got George Harrison on the lead vocals. It's actually the third song that he wrote for the Beatles. Um, American fans were the first to hear it because it was actually the third track on Beatles 6, which was released in America. And that was back when uh, like they'd have different versions of albums for the UK and the US. Um, it was just, for some reason, they just had completely different track listings sometimes, some bands did back then. I'm not sure why they did that, I guess they just didn't want, uh, the songs, like, they didn't think certain songs would do well in certain markets, maybe? I'm not sure. But it makes it, uh, makes it difficult to figure out which, uh, album you're talking about when you say, like, oh, I love this song off of this album, and someone from Britain will be like, well, it's not on that album problems you deal with in the modern ages with the internet then you can be like look it up anyway we're gonna listen to these songs backwards with a bit of distortion because that's just the way we do it here i want you people to feel very uncomfortable listening to the beatles so here we go she came in through the bathroom window Oh, <laughs> 
I really like that song though. Um, she came in through the bathroom window has always been uh, one of my favorite, like kind of shorter Beatles songs. Um, and apparently it's about a woman that actually came in through Paul's bathroom window, like a fan, and it was just slightly open, and uh, she just came in and got right in his house. I guess that maybe that's what the, he's talking about with the silver spoon, like she felt like she was privileged <laughs> to be going into his home like that. Um, also, she seems to have a uh, questionable reputation, according to the song. Pretty decent little song, though. Let's see how that stands up against Do You Like Me Too Much? Really like the piano on that song a lot. Um, sounds like George was taking some writing lessons from John back then about being creepy anyway, because that was super creepy. Oh, it was John on electric piano too. Nice. Uh, the, the lyrics got a bit creepy though. There at first, it's kind of like they sounded all. I guess maybe they sounded sweet at first. Let's see. Though you've gone away this morning, you'll be back again at night. Um, so basically, like. She uh, goes away a lot. It sounds like they fight a lot. But then when he says things like, it, I, it's nice when you believe me, if you leave me, I will follow you and bring you back where you belong, because I couldn't really stand it. Then he'll admit that he was wrong. I don't know. It's uh, It's got like, you you can never leave me creep vibes, but he also it seems like he's just trying to make up for uh, starting a bad argument. Um... And that's just kind of the way they were talking back then. <laughs> I could see Beatles fans being like, "Why would you? Why would you treat George like that?" Whoever the song is about, I love him. Uh, <laughs> but I think I like she came in through the bathroom window a bit more. That's uh, got that really cool guitar line that I always love, just like that iconic guitar line. And then I've always been a really big fan of that chorus. Didn't anybody tell her? Super good chorus, and it does a lot with the two minutes that it's allotted, really. Um, you Like Me Too Much was alright, but it didn't really do a whole lot for me overall. It's, uh, musically, it's pretty good. 
the creepy lyrics were okay, but <laughs> I think I enjoyed She Came In Through the Bathroom Window, and I actually enjoy that song, and will continue to enjoy that song. I think it deserves to win and go on through the next round. We gotta get something from the medley on to the next round anyway, right? I haven't picked anything from the medley yet. Um, we've got social media if you want to talk about it. There's it's, there's a uh, there's Instagram, there's Facebook, and there's Twitter. There's a polling system still set up on Instagram, so you can vote on your songs when you go to Instagram and visit us. Um, this giant zit. Oh well. Don't stare at it like I am, please. Uh, we've also got, we're on Reddit, TikTok, and all that stuff, too. Um, we have a cash app if you feel like throwing us any money. That's up to you. We also have Venmo. Um, the handles are on the screen. You can do what you want with that information. I link the videos down below so you can listen to the songs played forward if you'd like to. I do give you that concession, at least, if I'm going to play them all weird on my channel. I also link the tournament down below so you can check out where, where we are in round one and how far along we are. Um, this is day 86, so that means we've been doing 86, uh, 86 days straight of this. Um, what is that? 180. It's like 172 songs so far, and we had 256 to start with. You do the math. I'm done with math on that one. Uh, like this video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. You can't wait to see which Beatles song is the very best one in the end. We're we're getting through round one, and then once round two comes around, things start to speed up a little bit more. With the Beatles, it might take a little bit longer, though. Like, round two might still be kind of a slog, because it's still got 128 songs left, but... We're having a good time. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> it's just a lot of backwards Beatles, is all. Share this video with your friends and family, and share it with your uh, fellow lads and countrymen. Um, comment down below with which uh, song you would have chosen for your Beatles choice. And um, that's all the Beatles I have for you today. I'll see you all tomorrow for some more Beatles and Butthole Surfers action. So until then, get a lot of rest. <laughs> have a great night, a fantastic afternoon, and a wonderful morning. I'll see you later. Yeah, all right. That's going to go, and that's going. There was a way to get back home, sleepy darling. Do not cry. It's a good one. <laughs>